Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to go over the Book A, Unit 7 Vocabulary Words, Numbers 1 through 20. Let's get started! Our first word is applause. Applause. Applause is a noun and it is the clapping of hands in approval. For example, the sound of applause filled the theater. Or, the applause of her classmates made her feel proud. When people want to show that they like something, then they clap their hands together like this. This is what we call applause. Many times when people are watching a show in a theater, they applause. Or when someone does something amazing, people can give some applause. And of course, applause just means clapping, clapping your hands. Our next word is avoid. Avoid is a verb and it means to keep away from. For example, he always tries to avoid hard work. In this sentence, he is avoiding. He wants to keep away from. So he doesn't want to do hard work. So this person is not a very hard worker because they want to avoid work. We can also use the word avoid to talk about things that are unhealthy. Like you should avoid unhealthy food or junk food. Or if you don't want to get sick, you should avoid touching your mouth or touching your nose or touching your eyes. What are some other things that you should avoid doing? Our next word is decrease. Decrease is a verb and it means to become less or smaller. For example, the price of gas has decreased or her interest in television has decreased since she started reading. Something is going down when you use the word decrease. For example, here in the picture, at first you have a lot of money and at the end you have less money, so your money decreased. Maybe you purchased, you bought something expensive, so your money decreased. In the example sentence, there is a girl who really liked watching television but then she started reading, so the time that she watched television decreased. The time went down because she liked reading more. Or this first sentence, the price, how much something cost, has decreased. It went down. Number four is drowsy. Drowsy is an adjective and it means nearly asleep or very sleepy. When you are drowsy, you are not asleep yet, but you are almost asleep. Some people feel drowsy when they are driving their car and that's very dangerous. So if you feel drowsy, you should not drive a car. Or some people feel very drowsy after eating food. For example, he felt drowsy after dinner. After you eat a big meal, sometimes you feel sleepy, you feel drowsy. Or when you have a lot of work to do, it can make you feel drowsy. It can make you sleepy. What are some other things that make you feel drowsy? Our next word is grow. Grow is a verb, it's an action, and it means to become larger or increase. And the past tense of grow is grew. So make sure if you're talking about something that has already become large, that you are using the word grew. For example, this plant grew very tall. Or the baby grew so much in just a few years. But if you're talking about something that you want to become larger, you can say will grow. This plant will grow to be taller than me. Or I want to grow to be taller than my dad. 
Our next word is increase. Increase is a verb and it means to become larger or more in number. And we had the word decrease before. Increase and decrease are opposite words. Decrease meant to go down, so increase means to go up. When something increases, it becomes more or it becomes larger. For example, the population of our town is increasing. Population is the number of people that live in a place. So in our town, the number of people, the population, is increasing. It's getting bigger. Or if you are working hard, maybe my money is increasing. So, can you think of something that is increasing, something that is getting larger or becoming more? Maybe your amount of toys can be increasing. Our next word is instead. Instead means in place of or rather. For example, can I have a salad instead of french fries? When you use the word instead, you mean to say that you want one thing and not the other thing. For example, I should eat an apple instead of a donut because apples are healthier. Or I should use a pencil instead of a pen because I can erase my mistakes if I use a pencil. So when you are making a sentence with instead, think about something that you do want over the thing that you don't want. There should be two things that you're talking about. Our next word is instrument. Instrument is a noun and it is a thing used for making music. For example, pianos and horns are instruments. And you can make your sentence like this. My favorite instrument is the violin. So, what are some instruments that you like? We have guitars, we have maracas, we have violins and cellos and horns. There's many different kinds of instruments. Our next word is lively. Lively is an adjective. You can use it to describe a person or an animal. And it means full of life or energy. Something that has a lot of energy is called lively. For example, she is a very lively person. She is a person that has a lot of energy. Or, my lively puppy ran around the park 10 times. This puppy has so much energy. Another word that can mean lively is brisk or vital. And if you look at this picture here, you can see the puppy is very lively. It's jumping up and down. It has energy. This girl also is very lively. She's dancing around. She's happy. She's full of life. Then you can say she is a lively girl. Or maybe you can talk about what she's doing. For example, the lively girl is dancing. Number 10 is maybe. Maybe means that something might happen or it might not happen. For example, maybe the sun will come out today. We don't know if it will come out. We are just guessing that it maybe it will or maybe it won't. There's no yes, there's no no. Simply, we, we don't know. When you don't know, you can say maybe. Or maybe I will go for a run today if it's not too cold. So I don't know if I will go for a run. When you don't know, you can just say maybe. Our next word is nervous. Nervous is an adjective and it means feeling worry or fear about a thing or things. For example, that big dog is making me nervous. If there is a big scary dog, 
and you don't know if the dog is coming closer to you, then maybe you can feel nervous or afraid. And look at the antonym. The antonym is cool, but that doesn't mean the word cold. This cool means not worried. So the opposite of nervous is not worried. So if you look at the picture here, this man looks very nervous about something. I wonder what he's nervous about. This girl looks like she is studying for a test. And she's feeling nervous about it. Maybe she has too many things to study, or the test will be very difficult. So she's worried. She's nervous. Our next word is perform. Perform is a verb, and it means to present something for others. For example, the musicians will perform at the festival. When you perform something, you are showing it to other people. So here, the ballerinas are performing a dance. They are doing a dance in front of other people. Here, the children are also performing in front of other people. Maybe they are singing a song, and the audience, the people, are watching them. Perform performances are usually done on a stage. Or maybe in a classroom, also in front of people. When you are giving a speech, you can also say that was a performance. You are performing something. Number thirteen is the word regular. Regular is an adjective, and it means something normal or usual, something that is not special. For example. My regular breakfast is toast and eggs. When something is regular, that means it happens a lot. If you eat this breakfast almost every day, maybe just one day you don't eat it, you can say this is my regular breakfast because you eat it almost every day. So it is normal. It's not a special breakfast. It's the breakfast that you eat every day. So when you use the word regular, think about things that you do every day, things that are not special. For example, if you have shoes that you wear almost every day, you can say, "I put on my regular shoes and went to school." Those are the shoes that you wear every day, or. I grabbed my regular bag and left my house. So I took the bag that I take with me every day. Our next word is roll. Roll is a noun, and a role is the character played by an actor. When you are watching a movie, the things happening in the movie are not real. For example, here is Spider Man. In real life, there is no real Spider-Man. It's just a character in the movie. So these characters are played by actors. This man is an actor, and he plays Spider-Man in the movie. So Spider-Man is his role. It is the character that he is trying to be. So let's look at the example sentence here. The actor who played the role of Captain America was very strong. When you're using the word "role" in your sentence, you can use it in this way: the role of blah blah blah. We're usually talking about an actor, so the actor who played the role of something was something. So you can use this structure to make your sample sentence as well. Our next word is shriek. Shriek. Shriek is a noun, and it means a loud cry of fear, joy, or surprise. For example, my sister shrieked when she saw our new kitten. She yelled because she was surprised and happy. Or we can also shriek when we are scared. Something is scaring us, so we shriek. 
Shriek means the same as scream. So if you want to use a different word instead of scream, you can try shriek. Our next word is shrink. Shrink means to become smaller. So let's look at the example. Wool clothing shrinks in hot water. There are some clothes that if we put them in hot water, they will become smaller. They will shrink. And now you can't wear that shirt anymore because it's too small. And people also shrink. At first we grow, but then as we get older, we start to shrink. We get smaller because our bones are weaker and we can't stay, stand up straight. So we start to shrink. And the opposite of shrink is to expand or increase. This was our other word, increase, to get bigger. Shrink means to get smaller. So if you remember, the word decrease also means to get smaller. So how do you know if you should say decrease or shrink? So the way that you can remember it is that the word shrink, most of the time shrink is used to talk about your clothes. So some of your clothes will shrink or the past tense is shrunk. My shirt shrunk in the washing machine. So when you want to talk about clothing that have become smaller, try the word shrink. When you want to talk about an item or some things getting smaller or becoming less, then you can use the word decrease, like my money decreased, or my toys decreased because my mom threw them away. Our next word is size. Size is a noun and it is how big or small an object is. For example, the size of this room is too small for a big party. When you use the word size, you're talking about how big or small something is. Here I have many bags and all of the bags have a different size. So I can make a sentence like this. The blue bag was the perfect size for going on vacation. Or I can say, the size of the green bag was too small to fit all of my clothing. We can also use size to talk about people, because people come in all different shapes and sizes. There are some people who are tall, there are some people who are wide, so when people need to buy clothes, they need to pick their correct size. Usually when you buy clothing, there is a size on it. Maybe it will say small or medium or large. That is the size of your clothing. So when you're making a sentence, you can say, the size of this shirt was too small for me or too large for me. Or maybe you can say, my shirt didn't fit me, so I need to buy a new size. Our next word is sway. Sway is a verb and it means to swing back and forth or from side to side, to rock. This rock is not the hard rock. This rock means moving side to side. For example, I swayed the baby in my arms until she fell asleep. You can also change the word swayed here to the word rocked. I rocked the baby in my arms until she fell asleep. When you sway, you are moving from one side to the other side, back and forth. Like here, the girl is swaying her arms. Or this person is swaying their body. When people dance, we often use the word sway. He was swaying to the music. Our next word is timid. Timid is an adjective that means the same as shy. Timid means not bold or confident with other people. For example, 
the timid child did not like to go to parties, or timid people should not become singers. Another word that can mean timid or shy is bashful. All of these words are very good to use instead of using shy. So next time you want to say shy, try the word timid or bashful instead. Here you can see the shy boy is hiding behind the door. Maybe he's too scared to come out because there are people, so he is timid. Here also, the timid boy is hiding behind his dad. When children feel shy or timid, they usually hide behind their mom or dad. And our last word is whirl. Whirl is a verb and it means to turn or spin quickly on a central point. When you whirl, there is a point that is right in the center, right in the middle. And on that point is where you are spinning, you are whirling. So let's look at the examples. The bicycle wheel whirled when he lifted it off the ground. Or, the dancers whirl around on stage. Of course, whirl and spin are synonyms. But remember, when you whirl, there is the central point. The point where you are staying on. And that's all for this video. We went over the Book A, Unit 7 Vocabulary Words, Numbers 1 through 20. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time. Bye!